August 27th, 1906, Ed Gein was born, but he wasn't born wearing people's skin. He wasn't born a monster. What happened to Ed Gein that turned him into one? Ed Gein's mother was the culprit of what turned Ed into a monster. She hurt him, maybe not physically, but mentally, to the point of insanity. He wasn't born a monster. She made one. Henry George Gein died mysteriously, the likely killer, his own brother. Ed Gein reported him missing, yet was able to show directly to the body. I believe he was the killer. He killed his own brother. What really sent Ed over the edge was the death of his mother, who he idolized so dearly. He started picking up odd jobs around his town, and worked and worked. Everyone just thought of him as a worker, and nothing else. How wrong they were. After his mother's death, he tried desperately to be her, until he did some unspeakable things that will be spoken here. He would rob graves of the recently dead. He would take off their skin and use it for clothing, hats, gloves, suits, masks, until one day he wanted a fresher body, a live body. One night, Ed took home Bernice Warden and murdered her and hung her up like so many animals. When asked about it at his own work, he replied grimly, She's not missing. She's at the barn. He was later found guilty for the murder of Bernice Warden and died several years later due to cancer and a heart attack. That is the story of Edward Gein, the Butcher of Blainfield.